Greetings fans, hyper fans and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. I was not expecting to put another video up this soon, but needs must when the devil drives. A few of you who are following Transformers news on things like Full Metal Hero and TFW will have seen that they are doing yet another set of Dinobots. Um, these were on display at San Diego Comic Con. It's basically the Age of Extinction moulds with G1 colours, gorgeous chrome, new head sculpts, and like the rest of you, I'm really eager to actually see them in hand so I can make a decision about them. Um, this is obviously the very glorious artwork on the cover. Um, actually, it's a little bit more than the very glorious artwork on the cover. It is the cover. Thank you to some very generous people at Hasbro UK. Um, we have been sent a set of these before they hit retail um, anywhere. These are actually going to be going up on auction this weekend at Kitacon, which is in Birmingham at the Hilton Metropole. Do not go down there to bid on these things because it is completely sold out. Um, they sold out in about 73 minutes, and I have to say that the lucky people there are going to get to bid on this amazing set of five beautiful, beautiful robots. Um, I am going to open the box and slide the tray out and give a quick overview of this. I'm not going to take them out individually, I'm not going to transform them because you've seen the transformations before and obviously whoever wins this is going to want to have all the fun of that. Oh, I'm just going to tilt that up. I'm going to read quickly through their bios for you. Ferocious, at times unpredictable and almost unstoppable, the Dinobots are one of the most powerful groups of warriors ever to roam the galaxy. Their love for battle is rivaled only by their dislike of orders and those who give them. The Dinobots may not always like the Autobots, but they're better allies than the Decepticons who make much better piles of molten scrap. Um, by the way, talking of conventions in Birmingham, also assembly is later this month, um, link in the description below. If you are a YouTuber or you want to try making a YouTube video, I'm actually going to be running a room there where you can come along and either talk about the convention, review your new toys super quick, uh, you can use your own equipment or we're going to have cameras and stuff there. If you want to book a slot, email this address and I look forward to seeing you there too. Okay, so let me just open this up. Now, I don't actually feel guilty about opening this box before the auction because it has been opened a couple of times before. This is obviously what's being used by Hasbro UK to show this off a little bit. Um, everything is still sealed into the tray with the um, little rubber bands. But this is, this is an absolutely glorious premium set. Um, they've used practically every trick that they've done on collectible figures. Um, you have uh, silver molded plastic, you have silver dry brushing all over the shop. Um, this really glorious sort of gold molded plastic. The head sculpts, um, let me just see if I can get a little bit closer on that. Yeah, that's an entirely fresh head sculpt. Very, very G1. Um, no light piping, but the paint on it is amazing. Um, it's just got so much character. Um, they all do, actually. Even Strafe, who I really dislike because, you know, Strafe is another dinosaur. I am an old style G1er, so Strafe is a Technobot, so not really anything to do with the Dinobots other than Grimlock built him and I'm geeking out forget that um, you have the translucent plastic here um, actually it's a very swoop head all the way back to the fin at the back. you will be noticing a lot of glare 
on this recording. That is because there is a lot of metallicized chrome on there as well. Um, the wings are completely chrome. Um, actually, let's see if I can get something that doesn't reflect. And that's just absolutely glorious. Um, you've got translucent knees. Um, I really don't like that double head, but that's the way that they've designed it. Um, Slug has got a completely chrome head with just red detailing, uh, chrome forearms. Um, Grimlock at the end here. Um, obviously they've boxed him with his shoulder pads up so you can see that chrome, but they will go down over the arms. I will be bidding on this box myself at the convention. A um, little bit unfair because I am the auctioneer as well. But you know, if you want to outbid me, feel absolutely free to because I really can't afford anything at the moment. But the main reason I'd be getting this figure is for this absolutely gorgeous version of Snarl who is just filled with chromey goodness. I'll put in some still photos of the new head sculpts, as clear as I can possibly get them. Um, just to let you know that apart from the window box and the inset tray, all the original weapons that were released with these at retail, you have individual instruction sheets for each bot, um, and they are absolutely beautiful. If you are a absolutely mint in mint box collector i have to say that this box did come in a little bit foxed at the corners um, but it's now being put into bubble wrap to be transported down if you want to see how the auction goes follow kitacon on twitter and make sure that you've got periscope installed for august the second the auction is at midday um British summertime, and I think we're actually going to try and get some of the lots open to online bidders. If we can do that, and if there is enough interest in the Twitter stream in this set in particular, I will try and get this open to online bidders. I will also put a link to the catalogue in the description so you can have a look at this and a few other things. The catalog actually says that this is a different set because initially when we were told we were getting this we thought it was going to be the BBTS smoky grey set. So when I opened the box and found this uh, I flipped. I absolutely flipped um, as a couple of the Transformers community members who have had me calling them non-stop can attest. Anyway, if you are coming down to Kirtacon, I look forward to seeing you and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the auction room. If you are going to AA, I look forward to seeing you there. I look forward to seeing you in the YouTube room, which I think is now being called the broadcast booth. So it will be the big broadcast of 2015. And until next time, if you're keeping the mint in box, you can't show off all the glorious new head sculpts. Be a toy collector, not a box collector, and I will see you at conventions.